The Korkut stands as a recent addition to Turkey's low-altitude air defense arsenal. Its purpose is to replace the aging M42A1 duster systems within the Turkish Armed Forces and safeguard mobile combat units against a range of airborne threats. The production contract for this self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, SPAAG, was formalized in 2016, with the initial Korkut units entering service in 2019. Collaboratively developed by Aselsan and FNSS, the production numbers have been modest. By 2020, only 13 of these systems had been handed over to the Turkish Armed Forces, and this Turkish artillery system saw action in Libya. The Korkut was meticulously designed to ensure the protection of mechanized troops, mobile combat units, and critical installations from diverse aerial dangers. Its capabilities encompass countering hostile helicopters, UAVs, ground attack aircraft, air-to-ground missiles, and cruise missiles. The system also possesses a secondary function for engaging ground targets and infantry situated in buildings, effectively neutralizing lightly armored vehicles such as armored personnel carriers, infantry fighting vehicles, self-propelled artillery systems, trucks, and similar targets. Boasting an unmanned turret armed with two Erlikon KDC 0235mm cannons, the Korkut is furnished with stabilizers that enable accurate firing while on the move. It can employ conventional 35mm ammunition as well as airburst ammunition, which is manufactured by Aselsan. This latter ammunition type significantly enhances the system's effectiveness, with a maximum firing range of 4 km. With a rapid firing rate of 550 rounds per minute for each individual cannon, the air defense system employs a linkless ammunition feed mechanism that facilitates the simultaneous use of two different types of ammunition. Transitioning between ammunition types takes less than 15 seconds, and a combined total of 400 rounds are carried for both cannons. To detect and track airborne targets, the Korkut employs a tracking radar and a suite of electro-optical sensors, including TV cameras, thermal cameras, and laser rangefinders. The Korkut's foundation lies in the ACVAD, also known as ACV-30, armored track chassis, sourced from FNSS, which bears resemblance to the US Bradley IFV. The vehicle's armor safeguards the crew against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments, complemented by a crew protection system against nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC, threats. The SPAAG requires a crew of three to four individuals for operation. The vehicle is propelled by a diesel engine generating approximately 600 horsepower, coupled with an automatic transmission. An auxiliary power unit is integrated to power all systems when the main engine is inactive. Furthermore, the combat vehicle is fully amphibious, utilizing two water jets for propulsion when on water. A battery includes three Korkut self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicles and a Korkut KKA command and control vehicle featuring an integrated search radar. This command vehicle, based on the FNSS ACVAD tracked armor chassis, boasts a detection range of up to 70 kilometers. It incorporates a friend or foe identification system and coordinates with higher echelon air defense units. Variants of the Korkut system encompass the Korkut D, tailored as a naval close-in weapon system, employing a similar unmanned turret housing two 35mm cannons.